And if I see right now, I see a group who's ready. And when the whistle starts, it's showtime, guys. And it's Brumby time. Og torsdag, så, så begynder vi at kigge fremad øh, mod weekends kamp. Denne uge er det jo lidt specielt, fordi det er første kamp. The league starts again. You feel the competition is on. You must be fit. You must be ready. Jeg glæder mig utrolig meget. Og så har vi også stedet en, en titel, der skal kæmpe om. Det giver enormt meget energi at skulle spille kampe om point. Vi kommer til at stille med det hold, som vi tror på kan slå Midtjylland. Okay, I have three clips for their press. Uh, some of their tendencies, and then I have three clips on how we solved it last time we played a similar structure. We talked about the nine drops on the six, and then they end up with the two strikers pushing. Mm. And a lot of the times you can play in the uh, forward, one of them will end up dropping, leaving some space to play on the back side of them. And as soon as they play out, it's the eights that go, and the full and uh, the back line begins to drop a lot. So the eights press on full back? Yeah, and this leaves a lot of room for the half spaces and side spaces for easy access on the sides. Yeah, I always talk about my own style of play and of course uh, we want to have some details on what the other team, uh, other team uh, does with the ball and without the ball or in the transition. Mm -hmm. But it's not that we're going to uh, want to defend there, but how we can win in our style of play against their style of play. Yes, and again, it's good to come back. So we go today is we train tactisk fram mot kampen 11 mot 11. Help him. Ja, yeah, and help make the triangle. Det har vi kigget meget på presset. Tick, tick. Yes, go Lucas. Go Lucas. Go Lucas. I presset der arbejder vi stadigvæk, det har vi sådan gjort i, i en stor del af preseason på, på vores presfælder og på at Europa bolden, som jeg har været lidt inde på førhen inde, inde i midten. Så arbejder vi med at få vores midtbanekæde tættere på vores angriber. Vi oplever egentlig at vores midtbanekæde hænger mere sammen med forsvaret og angriberne presser for sig selv. Vi kunne godt tænke os at angriber midtbanen hænger mere sammen og at det så er vores bagkædes ansvar at få skubbet tættere på. Vi plejer altid at, i hvert fald med Menno og Kønte ved, ved roret, sådan at have det lidt hårdt, lidt hårdere end vi plejer for eksempel. Sådan, hvor vi har haft meget fokus på at, med at få os tilbage i form end egentlig at, at spille så meget i starten. Jeg har personligt selv haft fokus på også at komme lidt mere i, i bedre form og kunne spille 90 minutter på 100% i stedet for for eksempel at spille på 80%. Og så også selv spille en lidt anden plads, måske lidt længere tilbage. Så det skal jeg arbejde lidt med. John kan play om 10. You're gonna play on the left side, but also the national team coach. He was here last Monday with the training, and they play with one six and two eights, and also to prepare you on this position. Mest af alt det med ansvar, det er meget sådan verbalt og kommunikation og sådan nogle ting, men man kommer automatisk lidt mere på bolden, når man spiller lidt længere nede, fordi at der der skal lidt mere til før at man Come up, uh, in the it's not always communication responsibility, but right now he's also responsible for be the extra man in the build up. Yes, Lucas. Men der er også noget i forhold til at få rykket på Esko, øh, altså på hans individuelle, øh, hvad, hvad han kan og hvad han skal kunne, øh, når vi skal have ham ind i Superligaen. The eight position is far, he must a little bit more help uh, the build up, but also come to the box and uh, that run to the box That's very good for his improvement. Esco with his skills, it doesn't matter if he plays on anything. He, at eight of ten, he always have a good feeling for finding a position to play with him. So that's uh, that's some quality of him. The press we try to do is to get them to play here. It means Esco on the side, Dani on the side, Wismar high. You come. I think that is the key tomorrow. Make the nine go mm -hmm. and then pass to Jakob. Yeah. Yeah. I think this could be a good clip to show them because one, we can see where the spaces are, and two, we can see once you quickly get them out of their position, the nine leaves the six, you have the space. Now they have Jim and we prepare the clips, what we're going to tell them uh, after the game, how we can uh, press them in our style of play and how we can win the ball, or attack the ball somewhere to, uh, to score after the, uh, in the switch. Og så gik vi ind i omklædningen og så klip på presset. Snakkede lidt med drengene om, hvor, 
hvor det fungerede, hvor det ikke fungerede, hvad deres fornemmelse var med det, om der var nogle ting, vi skal justere, og så så vi lidt klip på, hvor vi så, at der kunne ligge nogle udfordringer, men også hvor det så godt ud. The balls with the fullback. Ja, yeah, this is the right striker. The striker goes up. Who's become free right now? This is your game, Jacob. Tomorrow is very important. Is the ball rolling to the side? Erem, you're important to support the fullback to get the ball back to play Jacob free. Og der viser vi så drengene Midtjylland, hvad vi har set de gør. Det er vigtigt, at du kommer ned igen, Erem, hvis du er gået op, som vi snakker om, som sekser. At hvis du spiller Larsen, så er det vigtigt, at du skynder dig ned. Sådan, så vi får nieren til at gå på dig, så vi kan spille vismand. Vi skal have ham der til at gå. Så vi kommer nok til at spille sådan der, hvis Edem er gået op. Så, og så spiller vi øh, sikkert søm igen. Og så det, som der kan være værd at undersøge, det er, hvis vi spiller Lukas, så er det, hvor det minder var inde på, så går de. Men det ham her, han gør, det er, at han, hvis vi så spiller, der vil jeg gerne have dig ned i det. Og det er den der, altså hvis du bliver der, så er vi lidt i problemer. Alle spillere viser jo selvfølgelig, hvad de kan for, for at få en startplads. Jeg ser lige nu vores trup ikke sådan, at der er lang niveauforskel. Jeg ser det som, at dem, der måske ikke bliver udtaget eller sidder på bænken, sagtens kunne starte inden. Så det handler meget om at vise sig frem og have en god træningsuge, og så kan, så kan alting nærmest ske. Du kan do a prep, and then we go outside. 10-30 training. For det første så er alle klar. Det var altid meget sjovt. Alle spillere stod derude i dag. Let's go. I'm looking forward to uh, get the pressure on in the body, the pressure on the players, and uh, they're also ready. For os er det en, en topkamp, øh, en, en af de sjoveste kampe og en af de sværeste kampe ude i Herning. Det, det bliver en af de øh, sværeste kampe, vi, vi skal spille. Yeah, if you also see the, to the results of Midtjylland, they can win with uh, 10-0, but they can also lose with uh, 5-1. If we reach our normal level, I think they are a very good opponent for us to play against us uh, and that we can uh, shine on the pitch against them. We must let them blow when they know what we see in the clips. That the uh, white Esco, if he's white, then he binds yeah. the two, yeah. make the plus, and from here we must find the middle round. Yeah. Altså, hvis vores pres ikke lige sidder der, så forventer vi et hold, der spiller sig ud. Hvis vores opbygning spiller skidt, så forventer vi et hold, der presser og tager bolden og, og scorer. Forventer vi skal være på top, øh, hvis vi skal slå dem. You know what I, I tell the guys over here? I've missed this. I've missed this feeling. Of course, we are. How many weeks we are on the way, Adama? Six weeks. And the first week, you know, John. Oh, what was you mad, eh? Because we must run in the woods in the rain, you know? And my shoes are so dirty. It's the first game again, and maybe you have some some feeling in your stomach because it's uh, it's new again for the points. If you're a little bit nervous in the beginning, start simple. And how are we going to win today, uh, Noah from Michelin? What's important? Which, which skills? Aggressive is one. More. Intensity. Intensity. More. Lucas. Fast play. Fast play. More. Where, Alfred, where we can beat them, really? Impressing. Impressing is one. Okay. And deep runs behind them. If we bring these skills today on the pitch, And we make a connection as a team. And definitely we're going to win this game today. Lucas, I give you a responsibility. Talk to the guys now, right now, that we are at the feeling, okay, we are ready and we're going to win this game. It's an honor and you. Come on. Boys, we should be ready to start here. Smell it again. Det er første kamp i halvår, så vi skal ind og vise, vi skal have de tre point med hjem, og være klar på første fløj. Kom bare her. Ready guys, kom til kul! Ja, god kamp, god kamp. Det er 3. Det er 3. Det er 3 i bag. God kamp, Josh. Okay, okay, okay. Kom bare, kom! Behind, Lukas! Go behind, Dagmar! 
Oh, oh Fred! Listen, 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 listen. Mano. Yeah? So, if you bring John up, it doesn't yeah. matter if we have the advantage in the middle. We bring John up, we bring uh, 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 John out, I'm in the middle, Alfred out, and then we bring Lucas out and Valdemar out. Saya! Saya! They make the trap on Jakob! Play one bigger! Valdemar, go! Go, Valdemar! Oh, Irem! Come to the end side. Bir daha başlıyor. This is good Dova. Create the space. Come here and push up on the ball. On the ball here. On the ball. On the ball. Now easy. Now the breakup is other side. Yeah, exactly. Breakthrough is other side. Spillman. Breakthrough is other side. Spillman goes. Don't Jakob. pass it to them, Jakob. Oh my God, man. Jakob, rest in or hop. Saya to the right. Saya to the right. Push up on the nine, Saya. We don't press. So what they do with the three strikers, they keep it high, every transition, they're gonna kick. And that's now personality. And that's personality. Doesn't matter if they play with three or with four strikers, we always, are we ready? Oh, Valema goes up, I take more to the left. Come here, to the left, to the left. Yeah, Jakob, right, right, right. Okay, transition, we have him again. But no, we are this, and then we, re we react, and then, is it, then we go mad. Is John over there? Is Esco over there? And we have here the midfielder. True? Okay. It's the same on this side. Ambeck, make a run. What he's going to do? Follow, breakthrough. Who can come over there? Valema can come. Boom. Okay? Hey, guys, come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, play a move. Play a move, Nilas. Come. Good, Valema. Push, Come push forward. Alec. Help, come, hey! Come on! Oh. Again, boys, fast set! Yes, man! Oh. Get back, get back! Still, still do it, still do it. Yes, yes. Are you kidding me? Uh, I tell you, Saya. Yeah. What's to the middle, Adam? What's out in the middle, Adam? Really, really, really good start of the second half. I think in 50 minutes we create three, four, five close to the box chances. In the end, yeah, it was too sloppy. Learn from this, guys. You only see what mentality yeah, and intensity does with games. And that must be basis, because that's also the work attitude from Brumby. Yes? Qua, go inside. Okay, boys. But with every game, every win, but also lose, first you must watch to yourself in the mirror. The first analysis is that it was shit, as we also think we I was also, and uh, Kunda also, so far, okay, this was our mistake. I think also you can sometimes give yourself a little bit more from, okay, this is also a mistake from us as coaches. To give them also the freedom to talk, oh, if the coach can make a mistake, yeah, then I can also make a mistake, because it's the football world is a little bit a macho world, uh, you don't... Uh, you must always camouflage your mistake, they think, but uh, I think you can always be honest. Men omvendt synes jeg ikke, at der er noget, der, der retfærdiggjorde, at vi skulle have været med i den kamp. Altså, jeg synes ikke, at uh, hvis vi sådan går kamp igennem, også når vi kigger nu på chancer og på store chancer og på spillet, altså det er helt fortjent, at vi taber, og det er også helt fortjent, at vi taber med altså, fire mål. This is also football, yeah, and maybe we learn Saturday the most uh, from, the whole season, from the whole season right now, because it was the first time we lose really 5-1. 
And then uh, I ask all the players from, okay, give yourself a number, but also evaluate yourself in your, um, in your own skills and how you can perform the next time better. But also in the technical way, how do you think we can beat the team next one?